Hello everyone. I hope you're enjoying the weekend uh, as I as I do. Uh, today I already took uh, a huge walk, so I'm feeling I'm feeling great. Uh, I hope that's the same for you. Uh, yeah, today here we have a special guest. Uh, actually, it's not a guest. C uh, Duck. I'm calling it C Duck because he has the most experience with with C. C as a programming language uh, will be here with me. I hope he'll debug me. Uh, he'll help debug stuff. Uh, and yeah, uh, contemplate about uh, issues in the code. Um, today, the go uh, I'll go back to the streaming uh, stuff. Uh, we'll uh, polish and uh, add uh, Rust example streaming app uh, to one of uh, memgraph uh, github repositories uh -huh. c duck is a little bit behind our logo but we're gonna fix that anyway uh, so yeah uh, we'll uh, figure out the the rust uh, example streaming app so uh, we'll use uh, rust memgraph client to uh, interact with memgraph we're going to use kafka kafka to uh push uh, uh data to and uh out out of the system uh and stuff like that so it will be quite minimal in terms of uh, the amount of code and uh, it's just a, an example app that or, or or boilerplate app that can be used to, to extend and implement on top of it um uh that's more or less it uh, as always, ask questions, uh, put stuff in the chat, uh, like, share, and subscribe to stay in touch. Uh, and yeah, uh, let's get started. Uh, uh, I'll switch here. So mm, I have a couple of uh, setup to do. Uh, so I just here checked out uh, these two repos. So we have rsmg client and yeah i actually don't have the one so uh that's on the master branch of rsmg client here we have port to mg client uh, minus a so we have a couple of uh branches which are important for us uh, let's go to the Rust client repo. So, so yeah, I will first uh, figure out uh, which client to use and how to uh, plug it in. Uh, uh, we actually merge this or not yet. Uh, 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 we just have the update state machine and yeah, we can use that as a starting point for our for our thingy here mm, Yep, mm, okay, that's That's rust uh, And let's go back to the So we need update state machine branch uh, update state machine branch that's the latest one so that's gonna be once it passes the code review it's gonna be merged uh, to master but we're gonna use this commit here to uh, uh, just to implement the the rust streaming example uh, that's fine and let's go back to the example streaming app so this is a uh, a repository that contains uh, a bunch of examples in all programming languages uh, and actually quite a long time ago I've started adding Rust uh, into that but uh, then I figured out that the client is not uh, good enough and uh, then I went and improved that but uh, we'll go we'll go and uh, do that right now so in addition to this, we need also example streaming app, but I already have just a second. Uh, 
I'll do that from scratch. Uh, we have example streaming app actually as a repository. That's great. Uh, then I have to just go here and copy one of these. Let's say this one. Uh, copy to clipboard. No, 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 no. Let's do this manually. Uh, IMG client or RSMG client to example streaming gap. So this is a bit boilerplate now, but no. Example streaming gap session name is app. Here is also example streaming app, and here is also example streaming app. Nice. Uh, all right. Now we should be able to run that tmax script. Hopefully that's gonna fly. Yep. Yep. Uh, okay. Uh, huh. We are still on the wrong branch here. Get pull to fetch latest stuff. We have that. Init Rust backend. Uh, okay, it merge main to merge latest stuff. Bam! Now we have the entire thing here. In the backend code, we have the Rust project here. Nice. Uh, okay. Uh, so the idea is to add. Uh, support for for uh, getting data out of Kafka and uh, pushing data to memgraph uh, by adding uh, by uh, using a, a rust client for memgraph here we have i mean uh, since memgraph has a bunch of features with the, with the streaming but it's not yet uh, fully op optimized for it. It's gonna be more and more in the future. Uh, the idea is to just uh, do basic stuff. Uh, it's in the future, I will add uh, more advanced stuff. Uh, let's say running Rust code directly inside Memgraph to transform messages and stuff like that. That's actually supported now, but it takes uh, a bit more to set up. So I'll just just do basic basic stuff first. Uh, all right, uh, I think uh, let's just quickly check what do we have here. We have a bunch of stuff. I actually uh, take one of the example how to uh, set up Kafka and, and Rust. Uh, it has a bunch of code here. Uh, I will check, do we need all of that uh, really? Uh, but yeah, that's, that's one thing we have to do. Uh, cargo Tomel has uh, uh yeah here we i just added example for um uh, for interacting between rust and kafka so we are totally missing the whole uh uh rsmg client thing here oh yeah actually i should put a real dependency here mm -hmm. all right maybe i'll even publish Rust uh, new version of Rust client. We'll see about that. Uh, all right. Mm -hmm. What else? Uh, that's it. And yeah, uh, Kafka. Uh, we have here run script uh, that will initialize Kafka. I'll also have to do that. That might take some time. Uh, but basically, here we have Kafka server and uh, Zookeeper and everything. Yeah, Zookeeper will be uh, soon uh, replaced with some internal code inside Kafka, but still, it's still the the way to go on the, it's still the stable version, stable option when using Kafka. Uh, that's one, and Memgraph, 
Memgraph also has uh, a script here that will create these triggers and uh, and all this stuff, all these things. All right, uh, what to do first? <laughs> what do you say? Probably, probably we should do. Probably we should do. I mean, we should run this, what we already have. Uh, all right, uh, let's go here under, let's call this Rust. Backend Rust. Cargo build. If we create this, if we start building this, hopefully that's going to work. Yeah, I assume... Uh, you have the setup and everything for building cargo stuff. I explained that when I built Rust when I built uh, Rust query modules. But yeah, I can. I'll probably start recording like small video videos explaining uh, these things, how to do them from scratch. But yeah, uh, I for now I will assume that you are familiar with basics. Uh, okay, this is working. Now we have here target. Target debug. Uh, example, I think Rust is the name. Rust. Ah. Yeah. Uh, this is the main. Thing we have here the binary and everything so binary is working but we are missing Kafka so this is on the second window we have Rust and on the third one we're gonna do Kafka so here uh, Kafka we have uh, we actually have Kafka folder here uh, if we run Let's run Zookeeper first. Hopefully this is this this is going to work. Yep. So uh, Zookeeper is working. Let's do Kafka run Kafka. Actually, yeah, Kafka. This should work as well. So we have uh, Kafka running now. Uh, basically, in this example, we just downloaded the entire Kafka repo and just run it uh, bare bones. So we are not doing uh, any thing like Docker or, or anything like that at this point. So here we just use. Uh, so for example, Zookeeper has like Zookeeper server start, and then you pass the config and config here in this case is just uh, like a default config that Kafka project contains. Um, uh, yep, uh, that's it. We have to create, I think, I'm not sure, do we have the producer? Let's start the consumer as well. So here we're going to have, I'll create Kafka. Uh, I'll create run consumer uh, what does it say I'm not sure if we have the I think it works uh, we don't have any any topic yet uh, and let's run here the producer just to test stuff so cd kafka run producer let's say test nice so as you can see here we produced a message test and in our consumer here we received that message here uh, which is good so everything is uh, properly set up now. 
properly defined now. Uh, I'll leave this as is for now. And you should be we should be able to do the same from the Rust code. So um, mm -mm -mm. set up logger, la la la. That's useless for now. Topics consume and print. Uh, wait, yep. So we have here. Uh, brokers that's like a default one we started kafka on this on this address so which is fine and topics yeah uh anyway minus minus topics topic Yeah, now this doesn't work, I think. Maybe uh, it depends what's the config. Test, we got this here. Committing offset, okay. Uh -huh. It actually works, it just, it's just receiving the recent uh, messages. So we have here, a key a payload topic partition that's uh is all uh kafka sp uh, kafka specific stuff the only thing we are interested in is payload so payload is uh very relevant relevant for us so this is working uh which is great so basic stuff is done uh and now i'll try to install rust client uh, so let me just first check uh, creates.io uh, what was the what is this version I think I think this is the last version that has these state changes updated. Let's just check that really quick. I think I already published that. I just don't remember. Uh, no, it's actually 0 0.2. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, uh. Ah, let's install it and then check. So here, cargo tomo. RSMG client. Let's do cargo build here again. Uh, this should fetch. RSMG client, the question is only which code do we have there? Uh, mm, this is taking a bit longer, let's figure out here. Can I download this? This from here, maplit cargo husky libc serial test. These are dependencies. Yeah, these are the same. Sorry. All right, uh, now we have our SMG client installed. Uh, let's use it for something. Uh, and yeah, I'm not very experienced with async await uh, here in uh, in in Rust, so I'll probably 
discover a lot of these things on the fly. So yeah. Uh, okay, mm, we have. Let's do uh, async main. What? Uh -huh. Here we have async main and uh, let's call it main. Uh -huh. That's that's not going to fly. <laughs> I will just create a simple example connecting to memgraph first and then we can move on. Uh, I think this is just building every single binary from here. So I'll add mg main. Uh, mg main rs. Let's call it like that and let's take an example rs mg client oh my graph uh, I think I published this as a version I really have to tag these things to be 100% sure but anyway this should be the correct stuff. Uh, uh, LSP install Rust. So I uh, I have a new setup here, and I have actually never coded Rust. Hopefully, this is going to fly. Uh, oh, almost. It has some issue here. File not included in module three. Not sure. Let's build. Target. Yeah, it doesn't have. It just have Rust. Yeah. I think we're gonna we will have to rename that what did I do? Ah Huh Ooh. Tokyo. Ah. Tokyo main. Okay, and this has to be renamed to main. Okay. Ah. Uh -huh. Yeah, I think. Oh, yeah. Nope, this is something different. What if we run the build now? Yeah, this is not the version we have there. Uh, this is some other version. Ah, sorry. Let's go. Let's go back a bit. Port to MG client. Uh, actually, let's go here. We have here. Yeah, we have to do execute and fetch all. So we're gonna just use this as an example for now until we publish the latest. Maybe I'll have time to do that as well today. But anyway, Oh, 
but I can't put this now. Okay. What the hell? Okay. Invalid macro info. Unresolved macro info. What is that? I have no idea. Okay, now we have that. Target debug rust. Connection refused. Yep, it doesn't work. Now we need to run memgraph. So let's go here. We should have memgraph available here. If we now run this. SSL, uh huh. Uh, that's the because memgraph is that's old version of memgraph. We should use connection params. SSL key, SSL mode, SSL mode, SSL mode disable. Uh -huh. So yeah, this is uh, the uh, older version of. Uh, of the Rust client, so we have to configure it a bit. Use SSL. Is it use SSL mode? SSL mode. Sorry. SSL SSL mode. SSL mode. Uh, disable. Disable, disable, SMO, disable. I think I need the server mode here. This should work. All right, nice. So now we have client working as well. Memograph is up and running, which is great. And yeah, let's let's now figure out. I have to remind myself what actually here. What we are doing here, so yeah, on the back end side, we are consuming these uh, messages in a certain format, and then, and then we just so we have next is the next message. We take the payload and then we create nodes and edges, and we have triggers inside Memgraph that will be triggered once data is added to to Memgraph. Mm, yeah, as I said, so uh, this work is possible to do in the, in Memgraph, but uh, here for the sake of uh, example, we'll do that on the backend side, and then later on, I will showcase how Memgraph can do all these transformations uh, directly. Mm. All right. Uh, Okay, we need to transform these queries. We have to set up um, we have to set up mem memgraph with the triggers, but that can come later. Uh, let's now just figure out this part, uh, the the equivalent of this. Uh, all right, uh, we don't need these just to close these things here. Uh, no. Okay. Uh, 
let's just client main 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 dot rs nice okay so here we are set up in logger that's irrelevant uh, we have that consume and print uh, we have here the consuming uh, logic which is kafka error kafka error no 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 payload payload view none uh -huh. uh, we have here payload and uh, that now here we have to apply the logic to put stuff into memgraph okay uh, uh, we need to open this. Uh, we need connection. Execute and then fetch all and then commit. We need this part. All right, let's let's put that. To the uh that's fine connection so i'm not sure where to put these so we have these matches yes set up logger what about that output format builder init and then what R rust log where is that uh -huh. Consume and print is an async function that gets all these and then a loop. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. He, uh, we are awaiting here on this and we are. So this is this function is essentially is is never is never stopped. We just put stuff here. So yeah, uh, we can initialize memgraph here. So we can move this. Uh, below. This is Kafka initialization and then memgraph initialization. So connection. do this here we have the connection and now consume we're gonna rene rename that into consume just to be easier to use connection so we have to pass I believe Passing a reference here is going to be good. Uh, yeah, just sending sending here. Uh, let's say memgraph connection and the mutable reference is needed here because. Uh, because connection is uh, connection state is changing when we when query is we, 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 when any query is executed so we we need to have mutable mutable reference here uh and yeah that's it and let's say We are printing that info here. 
we need payload 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 is gonna be a query uh, so Uh, commit message huh. uh, I think we're gonna commit message commit the private message note that this will also automatically commit every message with a lower offset within the same partition yeah and that's not important but before committing we actually have to execute so query need this Uh, now an interesting thing here is that I hope this is gonna be synchronous call and we're gonna wait here to receive to receive stuff let's just pass payload payload here none counts join wow. okay we're gonna print that connection uh, we don't have connection we have memgraph and also fetch all we need fetch all as well in the newest version we have just one execute and fetch function but yeah since let's save time here actually I should be able to format this Rust FMT failed to run. Why? Uh, probably because I'm not in this repo, in this folder. Uh, let's just back and Rust. Uh, SRC. Hmm. Not sure why. Maybe because we can't compile. All right about now no no I, I have to set up that but doesn't matter we'll do that later on cargo FMT now this should be formatted oh sorry no I was good consume yep it's okay uh, and this is actually memgraph related and this is kafka related consume commit message memgraph cargo build nice we have it running if i run topics topic that's a, a default topic created with uh, these scripts that are run initially now we are waiting for this for the things to to receive let's go back to kafka and let's execute match n return n okay uh nice so uh, we received match and return n as a as a query and then we executed and we have that label id1 which was created i think with the first query we executed hmm nope uh mm -mm. This is not good. Columns ID label one. Okay. Let's just check what we have inside memgraph. 
yeah this is something strange uh, uh maybe i just fetch one or something yeah i fetch one of these no actually we should get them all columns records zero ah record zero values yeah yeah yeah, yeah. uh instead of Uh, records value this might fail vec value does not implement yeah about now cargo build Invalid argument. Uh oh. Hmm. Okay. Topic. Topic the same. This is strange, but anyway. Uh, now we have all of them <laughs> so good uh, all right now we have a dummy example let's put something not dummy inside I think I need another coffee. Uh, let's check, let's make a quick break. Let's check what do we have on the social media. much uh yeah i'm going through this uh, fairly quickly and uh, here we have a bunch of different stuff um uh, and i don't uh, pretend that i understand all this tokyo stuff yet uh so yeah here we have a bunch of stuff if you have any anything uh which is not clear please ask i'll try to explain Um, all right. Okay, let's add something. 
more interesting. So we need to have this. So so we uh, the whole example is expecting uh, nodes and edges in a certain format. So I'll just copy the entire thing here and rewrite it in in Rust. Mm. And we need only up to this point. Mm -mm -mm -mm. We're gonna just add that here without a shame. Later on, uh, we'll figure out how to how to improve that. So, actually, we can write a quick function here to to not repeat stuff here. Uh, so we just have to execute against memgraph and basically we don't care about the results at this point. So I'll just wrap that function into something else. So fn not public uh, fetch all Mm, can be the same. Um, graph connection. Yep. Memgraph execute print error. Print columns. Oh, we don't need this. We just ignore all that. payload uh -huh. uh, we also need a query query ref str I think that's the smartest thing to have it here query will that work yep never used yeah we're gonna change that panic and we print the error and the same here we don't need records anymore uh, 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 we panic and we print uh, and that's it uh, I'm gonna format that later on uh, but uh, so for now we just need here execute and fetch all uh, query is payload and memgraph is Memgraph, but we need mute. What? Uh, what? Didn't I? No, this is wrong. You can't borrow memgraph as it's not declared as, but it is. Uh, maybe I have issue with Mute connection. Uh, something is broken here. Uh, now I 
just don't understand what is happening since I Uh, let's google that quickly can't borrow as yeah maybe this is a problem no this is special this is a special error Can't borrow Memgraph as mutable. Why not? Okay, if I put this here, I think. Ah. Yeah, yeah, I already have, I'm sorry, I already have the mutable reference here. Memography is already a mutable reference, so that's fine. Sometimes I'm really stupid, uh, but that's fine. Uh, okay. Uh, now that should work. fetch all setup logger la 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 uh, Just to sing this that yeah that this this whole thing is async. Which means yeah we need that Tokyo stuff here. Uh yeah. Async await, we are waiting this thing here. And then extracting payload. And then we do other stuff. Headers, headers, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, this is not printed out at all. All right, payload, eh, now let's do some Rust finally. So if we have, if we have a node, if command equals equals node, then uh, Command and payload. Uh -huh. uh, here we have like the first. The first thing is a command. In that. In that. In that payload. So, Rust CSV reader. Oh, nice. We can act. Uh, 
CSV. We're gonna read from something. A reader. A reader new delimiter from a reader data as bytes. That's interesting. So we need we need this. Let's check before adding that into our project. Let's just check GitHub real quick. Is that updated? Huh. Mm. Not great, not not terrible. Uh, type of thing. Do we have something else? CSV processing, Rust lang nursery. Yeah, that's this one. Yeah, I'm gonna use this for the sake of, of time. Uh, seems relatively legit. Uh, so CSV one point something. Mm. Cargo tunnel. And we had that example. Reader, we need this CSV reader builder. Mm, that's gonna be res remove the whole use item. Yeah, but we don't want to remove. We're gonna use that from a reader. Reader records next. Let's do all this now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So. Uh, the limiter is this thing here. Mm -mm -mm. No, we don't need for item item in record. Data, no data, we have a vote. Mm, 
the operator can only use in the async function that returns result or option. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, result match result. Yeah, we have to change this, but anyway, uh, result match result on okay record then we do this else uh, error then we copy the thing where is the error yeah this here uh Okay, we are missing some. Uh, string record is not an iterator. Uh oh. should be vector some result uh -huh. no I have if let some result uh, result is yeah mm -mm. records records yeah this is returning iterator uh -huh. records is returning a uh -huh. result is an iterator i think but yeah we have uh -huh. Each item yielded by this iterator is a result stream record. Ah, uh huh. Result, we have that thingy, and then we have item, uh, which is then on. print e uh sorry uh we have we need to make item here and then here This has type string record. Huh. Hm. Yeah, this is strange. But then we have to just print. Sorry. 
string record and what is a string record mm -hmm. uh, Okay. <sighs> okay. Now we have that just a warning. Now we should print these things here. Uh, let's take an example. So in the Kafka producer, we have this for example. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Oops. Why it didn't get printed? Probably we didn't have. Yeah, this if did not execute at all. And why is that the case? Mm, not sure. Let's just print the result. Uh -huh, but uh, maybe the. Maybe mm, let's check this. Yep, nothing is returned from this. What's the example here from data is a string? Ah, uh, maybe because I don't have header or something. from reader mm -hmm.
has headers false yeah this is the the flag we are missing let's try now bomb it's working but now we don't have stuff in the buffer yeah and we can't go up here ah i hate this but yeah what can you do uh why it move me from here Anyway, but I can just run that producer here. Okay, let's do that. Uh, so here we have builder, here we have Kafka, here we have producer. Uh, Kafka producer. So we need Python to run this. Get static producer, that's gonna read that thingy and push everything to Kafka. So Python static static producer no module name Kafka. Aha. Uh, -huh. uh we have to install that. Start virtual environment three. That's gonna create a virtual environment. We're gonna activate environment. And now we are we need Requirements. Now we have Kafka. Boom, we done. We got all this. And here. Nice. So we have node, person, this, name, and OK, string record. Yes. Okay, so we can parse this thingy, which is great. Uh, uh, string record. Seven, eight, eight, nine. Hmm. The output is a uh -huh, because I'm printing this here. And then I'm also printing OK string record. I'm a bit confused. Result item in result. Uh -huh. Let's do just this. Uh, now we have OK string record. Mm -hmm. What is that string record? Single CSV record stored as valid string record from vector len3 okay and how to fetch uh, record has a length
field equals ABC. Uh -huh. Get uh -huh. get the first one, the second. Uh -huh, uh -huh. All right. Mm. How we did that in the Python code? So we create query. We just unpack that. from the from the stuff and then we do yep okay structural bindings in with that is it possible to do uh, no python in uh, rust pattern syntax match yeah, we can do match, but not that multiple patterns. No, 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 no. Unpack. Pack. We have that one, some result, and the result is here, len, result, okay, we have the result, okay, match, result, Okay. This should fly if we have error. Okay, here we're gonna have len. So it's not actually it's not item, it's a row. Because that's one row in the CSV reader, and that's what we have. And now we have that string record. String record unpack. Result records expect a CSV record. I don't know Rust that much. Any suggestion on how I can unpack string? R result would be 
would be good. Uh, yeah, they are just iterating through stuff, that's fine, but I want some kind of structural binding. That would be super easy. <laughs> that thingy here is interesting. Hash map. Wow. Nice. This is interesting because that's gonna deserialize stuff into a record and then we have that tuple. And then and then and then we can we can do the rest. Hmm. The problem is we have different uh, different types of of records mm -hmm. but I can try to deserialize. Uh, I forget what this is. Mm -hmm. Did we install that by installing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have that already, I think. <laughs> from a reader from a reader boom records deserialize rudder rudder deserialize and then let's try and do this rudder deserialize Or result in
type annotations needed? Uh -huh. I need to specify what's the type and that's gonna fail. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh, uh -huh. uh, but let's try. Uh, so we have string and string. Record. This is essentially what we need. Let's leave it just string and string for now. What? Maybe I can't put type in a function or something. But that should be possible. Uh huh. Uh huh. Stream. Ah, uh, again the same problem. Uh, then I have to propagate through all this. Ah. Match. Actually, I have that code here. Match result. Okay. Row. This should be magically correct. <laughs> uh, a row. Dup, 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 dup. Yeah, and what if I rerun this now? Uh, this is gonna massively fail because of what? Nice. I have a record. So uh, basically we have we have label unique fields fields. So a label is a node label. Then we have unique fields which are referenced with that node. So we are creating a node inside memgraph and that node has properties which are unique and the rest of the properties. This is a bit uh, specific to, to this code here but anyway and here we have three and for the edge we have one two three four five six uh, is that correct so one two three four five six and here we have three yeah okay essentially I need six strings Uh, I need six strings. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. 
and if I run this code now, okay, uh, we can. Oh, sorry for uh, we are we are missing mm -hmm. Yeah, this is now. Option. <laughs> Option string. Mm, let's try that if we have. So these two are optional. Optional, let's run this. Now, yeah, the problem now is that we didn't commit that one message and we're gonna receive that all the time until we fix the actual code which is actually good because we don't have to restart Kafka uh, sorry producer uh, All right. Uh, hmm. How to how to do this? This doesn't work obviously. Option none. Hmm. How to tell this to this library that we have some optional results? Hmm. No, the latest version.
Yeah, the problem is if I just try to map map to something which is smaller, then I'm gonna lose information and my serialization is going to pass. So, hmm. <laughs> a variable length record, variable length record, flexible. I tend to think about each field as a value of a particular name rather than as a number one way to distribute levels into a map like that. Yeah, but the problem with that. But this is reason known until liberal. However, in our case, we need to. Yeah, but we don't have that. This is super interesting. It has a bunch of stuff, but we don't have. Is there, is there a way to identify fields by their header and name and assign each? That's great, but I don't have the header. In my case. Change our run function, the serial iterator. Mm -hmm. But maybe I Mm -hmm. This 
is gonna fail because of of size six. Yeah, we need we need to have that record in order to we need to have header which is not good not good mm. doesn't work like that string record string record iter I mean we can iterate through this and we will be good Mm, where is that method deserialize struct? Mm -mm. Reader builder, reader builder from path result reader, reader. This thing here has the serialize. The serialized returns a borrowed iterator over the serialized records. Each item yielded by this iterator is a result the error. <laughs> In order to access the record callers must handle the possibility of error typically try or boom. If it was enabled via a reader builder, which is default, then it yep. mm, yeah. Otherwise it's going to fail.
Aha. So deserialize returns. Deserialize returns. <coughs> deserialize record, record records iter. Yeah. And this thing here returns string records iter. Uh -huh. Yeah, since I don't know, I think I'm gonna go with this with uh, without these. Okay, mm, and then I have vector of strings, which is fine. I'm back. Oh, nice, we can use this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, no, not this anymore. So I don't need... Uh, If I do this, if let Uh, P-type P-type and we need uh, we have P-type label unique fields fields Label It's really annoying this What we Convert stirring mm.
expected semicolon nope ah uh, 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 expected expression found Expected an array or slice found str. Mm -hmm. Expected an array or slice found string record. String record. <laughs> How to do this? Ah. Uh. Maybe compiler will be smarter. Pattern cannot match with input type string record. Yes. But how they can then from vector? How it's possible to
dot collect is the solution I think Nice. We now have all of these. If let p type unique fields. Okay. <laughs> Label one, unique fields one. We just copy paste all that. Uh, this took a little bit longer than expected again, but fine. So we're gonna just replace all of that. But this is actually nice. Not bad. Uh, Print I think I can actually match. I should replace this with this with match and then vector this. And then not do if This should be possible, so
match this. This should be a bit nicer code. Okay, now I have a problem. To play found to play expect slice. I don't know how is that done by hmm. let if let I should leave. Now we have the the thing that we wanted to achieve for everything else. Error panic if else panic. Edge, but it's not an edge. Nice. And now we have to create queries here and we should be fine. Uh, let's make them print LN. So, uh, That's the first query. Yeah, we're gonna just, once we got that right, we're gonna just uh, replace that with label unique fields, fields. So label unique fields, fields. Uh, that's one and then the second one 
is this here. So first node, second node, edge type, edge fields. So label one, label unique fields one, label two, unique fields two, edge type fields nice okay let's format this a bit finally because it looks really ugly build best nice so okay we have records we have one record if we got a row we collect that into a vector and then we iterate through that and we should get all these things printed out topic nice and let's execute this so we have merge person id set name sally which is great and these are all nodes and edges merge person id 11 merge person id 12 merge a connected with with b which is fine uh, just to check yeah we don't have anything on the edges nice nice so What is the logic behind neighbors? Neighbors. Aha. Uh -huh. We are executing and fetching. Uh -huh. And we'll get how many neighbors that that node actually has. Uh -huh, but we're gonna add that later on. Just to get something working inside memgraph. So we don't need this anymore. So parsing the parsing stuff and yeah instead of printing we're gonna just execute so let add node query equals format of these execute and fetch all add node uh -huh. nice and the same here execute and fetch let add edge query equals format this nice okay let's clean memgraph a bit Yep, 
if we now push stuff to Kafka. Oops. Uh, why do we have first? Uh, we have edges first and then we have nodes first. I don't remember why. I think we actually have to commit. Yeah, that has left from before, I think. We have to commit stuff. Just a second. In the client. Main. Commit. <coughs> yeah all right uh so i didn't commit a transaction that's a default there so fine okay uh great so now we actually have results so we are pushing data through kafka and then into memgraph which is great uh and now the last part are the triggers so once memgraph is getting data in we have to set up triggers uh, so uh, we don't need this anymore Uh, yeah, I'll refactor, refactor that a bit later on, uh, since now the next step is to get, is to set up triggers. So, but before that, uh, I'll go and make me some coffee. We'll be back in a sec.
right. And we back. So yeah, C Doc is not very happy with this rusty code. <laughs> but yeah, what can you do? Uh, I think it's actually very nice um, uh, the way how these things are written. But and what are all the guarantees here? But yeah, you have to be a little bit experienced with writing this. Uh, this these things anyway uh, dip, 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 dip. Uh, how do I vector mm, I will isolate that in a function just to make this code a little bit better Yeah, uh, I hope everything is working. Yes. Mm -hmm. Execute and fetch. And here, fn. fn. Memgraph store. Uh, store memgraph uh, payload which is ref vec ref str missing type yeah uh, Memgraph, and now we can move all these there. Ah, here we need a pen. Here we need to panic. B 
if anything else is there just print I actually want to move this part there mm -hmm. A struct with a similar name exists connection. What? What is a problem here? Uh -huh. Function is never used. Yeah, because this is not used. A uh, vector it draw collect. Light one argument and we need two. <coughs> nice. Uh, all right. Yeah, we can actually isolate the reader as well. Uh, okay, so la 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 la. Uh -huh. FMT. Nice. This looks reasonable now. Store member of execute and fetch. Setup logger, uh, logging consumer, consume, la la la. Uh, yeah. Payload vector. I'm gonna, I'm gonna replace this with another function vector payload and what is payload do we have a type for that Payload is a string. Ref string it should be fine. So payload str.
Hmm. Let's do this. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, that's gonna complicate a lot. Uh, because we have to return. Ah, uh, no. Lifetime A. What if I put mm -hmm. uh, now I complicate my life a bit, uh, but yeah, rust the door. Turn B. Types expected to found union. Uh -huh. I think we are not. Uh... <coughs> the 
problem is that this match empty vector found vector struct empty vector option yeah it's easier to return option here option vector yes Yes, comparison cannot be chained. Mm, this is not a comparison. Uh, the biggest problem here is now that I are uh, I am borrowing raw <laughs> Raw is borrowed, yes. Clone, what if I clone? It's still borrowed. Uh, Returns a value reference of the current function. What? If I clone, it's still still is going to be borrowed because we are referencing these strings iterator collect and then I clone but I have these values yeah 
Missä on teitta? Reference in local variable row. Make vector copy last. Yeah, this is a bit stupid, but yeah. Uh, one option is to just map thing. Let's try just to compile that, and then I'm I'm gonna I'm, I'm going I'll go back vector string. We don't need need the lifetime anymore. So records result collect dot map. map and then the lambda so st string s to string ah.
för om. Yeah, now we're gonna own that string so we can do whatever with with that. Mm -hmm. And why this doesn't work? So if I return str, yeah, map. S just use the same mapping function. Row is borrowed, yes, and that's a problem. <laughs> Row is borrowed. Owner A, owner B, mm. can I specify when I am borrowing? Let's say that I put a lifetime here. Put the same lifetime here.
Uh huh. Maybe I can put it here. Like. Rho is borrowed for A. Uh. Mm -hmm. A row does not live long enough. Yes, defined here. Returning this value requires that row is borrowed for A. Row dropped here while still borrowed. Uh -huh. A row dropped here. Uh -huh. Here we are dropping a row, which is not great. Uh, how to say that we are Uh, not sure how to That no syntax for match variables in Rust. Yes, I think I need something like this. Yeah, bar Z for Z. Sure, there is. Some. Ref.
ref s result is now not uh -huh. no result doesn't work because I need to borrow These are stupid. Now we have issue with the result. Mm -hmm. How to copy that? CSV records mm. Mm, reader now reader has <laughs> if I return a result here
yeah I don't have a box here I have a result does not live long enough maybe here is like the As far as I know, you want to the iterator to return a vector of references to right. a bit crazy but I don't think this is gonna be possible let a b hmm. let long lay result Stupid uh, result. Long living result. And then with a similar name exists result. Let's say record. Ah, no, 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 no. a problem because that's Yeah, I, I think this is actually not possible. I really don't know how to extend this lifetime. Maybe I can do something here. Since we have that. Yeah. I think it's easier to return string just to return string values and that's it. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> walk, walk, walk. Doesn't work. String record. that and now we need functions a reader mm. a reader Oh. Each item yielded by the iterator as string record error. Therefore, in order to access the record scholar must handle the possibility of error. Mm -hmm. Records. What if I I specify here found not going to fly. The lifetime parameter R refers to the lifetime of the underlying CSV reader. Uh -huh.
Hmm. Yeah, the problem is that lifetime here, which does not. But what if I put ref here? or ref here. Yeah, these are now random. I really don't want to create that string because I really don't have to. Uh, the problem is that record. I mean, if I start collecting here, I'll create these references, but then I still I'll create these vector objects for nothing. <laughs> uh, very tricky, very tricky. Mm. Anyway, uh, may I maybe maybe I'll record a video, a separate video about this. Uh, for now, I'm gonna go with a simple solution, just return a copy. Uh, this is going to fly, so we don't need this anymore. We need only this instead of data, some raw vector s to string collect. We don't need to have to be explicit here. This is gonna fly. I'm gonna get payload vector and then I'll pass that reference to here. I have here string. Payload. Yes. Let's try by doing this. So let uh walls payload vector. out of a load and then store main graph option reference string yeah if 
let some maybe command We have to fix this. <coughs> yeah, for now, I'm going to just See their borrowing. I run again. Yes, okay. Panic, panic, panic. Here it's okay. Here it's okay. Okay. Uh, let's actually commit this. Client main, we don't need anymore. Fifty cargo build, yes. <sighs> cargo lock, we 
you know that connection is here we store we change that into consume store memgraph execute and fetch builder la 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 okay that's fine at store to all right mm. variable isn't set and graph triggers are probably not set up properly yes okay okay but let's set up these triggers first uh, so mm, here we have mem graph up and running and let's here the triggers so if I go under memgraph here there is a little utility for uh, pushing data into memgraph uh, so if we run this script it's going to start memgraph but since we already have memgraph up and running we can run init and init is going to run just create indexes constraints no trigger update neighbors trigger and what that is so we have here we have create create constraint we are creating constraint on the person now uh, let's open that so there is a person uh, create constraint create index we are also creating index we are creating node so here create trigger create uh, called create node on create so on each create uh, we're gonna after commit execute created vertices we're gonna update vertices to zero update neighbors to zero and create update and then once there is an update uh, we'll actually increase number of neighbors on the end node and also on the start node uh, sorry just to remind myself so context vertex start node match start node end node we'll find all the neighbors and then we'll update neighbors on the end node with start node count end node we'll count all end node as neighbors and then update the start node at, at neighbor so we're gonna update both sides within this query uh, so actually that's the trigger that will be run on each update so the backend code doesn't have to do anything member will execute these triggers and keep that state uh, up and running so let's just uh, that's under five so run in it uh, ah no 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 since we have memgraph up and running Uh, why is this executing? Ah, uh, maybe because here. Ah. Uh -huh. 
somehow we are pulling Docker to be able to execute MG console. Aha. Ah, so in this script, uh, Docker image is pulled because we want to. We are using MG console inside Docker to execute stuff. Uh, I think this is fine. I'm not sure why this is this printed so many times, but fine. So we, so we have index created, show show thing show constraint info yeah. And show so we have these two triggers available in the database and let's say we now do match n n overview yeah and if we run static producer uh, maybe we, yeah <laughs> we have to run our backend now that's why the logic should be inside memgraph uh, let's build it again boom but since we have Kafka, we actually have them. And now if we match and let's ah and two neighbors, one neighbor, one neighbor, one neighbor, zero neighbors, three neighbors, yeah, maybe just to return. And R M one neighbor, one neighbor, one neighbor. I'm not sure, maybe three neighbors. Maybe this our calculation is a bit wrong. One neighbor, one neighbor. Anyway. Uh, not sure why is this wrong here. Mm. Uh, yeah, probably it's not propagated because we created Mm, sorry, let me consider this logic a bit, so... Neighbor zero. So, as start node, end node neighbors plus one. Count uh -huh. count. Let's call count for this node Martin. Martin is 
Yeah, why is this returning count one? Let's go into docs. Mm -mm. Functions. Wow, we don't have that as well in the in the repo. Oh, uh, we have to update that. Mm -hmm. Start on count as uh -huh. we are counting here. Uh -huh. We are counting end notes here. N now I did a couple of things, so instead of just we have to add count, and what does it mean for a node? It means basically one result, so because it counting discounts all the results here, so it's it's just it's a bit misleading. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now I see. And now count. Let's say that start node is. Start node is that one here. Just a second, Martin is a questionable here. Alfred also has, so we updated Martin and then start node. Aha, uh -huh. yeah, it's correct because we just count all the forward edges, not the not the incoming edges. Uh, maybe we should replace this yeah uh, let's try this uh, show triggers mm, do I have inside this run script mm -hmm. init drop Drop data, drop index, drop triggers, drop constraints.
Now we are doing a little bit of bash. Uh, duck. C duck doesn't like that as well. Uh, drop. Yeah, we don't have anything here. Run in it. We should have all the triggers. And it's actually updated set of triggers. If we rerun static producer overview query. Six. Yeah, now we have a problem here too because that's six, two, three. with distinct let's put it distinct This won't solve the problem, but let's try. Drop. In it. Drop in it. And. Distinct function call. Ah. ah, sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah, with distinct start node and node. Yeah, yeah, this function doesn't work if something fail because it's going to exit, yeah. Or Uh, ah.
bash not fail Uh, I don't remember how to set this. Mm -hmm. uh, this should fail if something is bad, but this shouldn't. No, X is printing stuff. I want to set minus E. This is going to fly. <laughs> Doesn't exist, but what? Neighbors doesn't exist. Aha. Ah, uh, I understand because that's the same. Yeah, two. Shop. Hmm. Uh. Queries drop triggers. Queries drop node trigger drop. Create node trigger, add neighbors.
Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. Now we have that drop and we should run in it to re add stuff back in. Uh, all right. Show triggers. Yes, we have it distinct. Yep. Data is not there. We have this. Let's run again this stuff. We have data in there connected one four. What how 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 mm, three six one yeah, this is slightly wrong. Five. Yeah, because we are updating the query, which is not correct. We are just updating here all the Uh, just a second, so we are expanding here and then let's go back here. It depends in which order. Uh, let's take a look into queries. So Marty was here. Erin. Marty was updated and then So start node is that is Martin. Connections are already there. And then if Martin is attached here, it might be that Yeah, this is actually not a trivial problem. Start node and node. Distinct start node and node. We have these distinct nodes. And then end node. Neighbors. End node plus. We add one here
start node count end node as neighbors and then we we take how many of these huh count end nodes so this has one end node alfred this one is correct yeah and then we update this one but we can just say degree instead of instead of this strange stuff so Node degree odd and degree degree end node degree start node set start node neighbors yeah okay if we drop this yeah that's a bug uh, in in our example. I think now it should be correct from both sides because we are updating the neighbors and we are taking the current init no here boom overview Alfred haven't run in it oh drop now that's going to fail a couple of times drop 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 in it to initialize stuff Yeah, show triggers. We have the right one. And if we run producer again, overview, all is in. Neighbors one, neighbors three, neighbors one, neighbors two, neighbors three, neighbors one, neighbors three. Yeah, this is correct now. Great. Okay, what did we add? It is the <sighs> okay. We updated this a bit. We added this. We just fixed the bug. Fixed the trigger bug. Bug. All right. I'm actually actually happy because of this. And yeah. Uh oh, it's already four hours in. Uh, it really took a long time. Uh, what else? Uh, this is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Oh yeah, payload. Nice. Uh Yeah, OK, 
Okay. Yeah, for each, for each new thing, uh -huh. for a node, yeah, yeah, if neighbors is none, I'll execute this query here. Add query, execute and fetch, and again. Execute, execute. Cargo built. Three, two, one, yes. Values columns. Uh -huh.
Ha, columns join execute. Yeah, that works. Ah, uh, some of the queries are not returning. I execute this and then that's not passed, yeah. Yep, 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 uh -huh. Maybe I can actually return columns here. or the result yeah yeah maybe i can return here like a string Yeah, this is now a little bit strange. Yeah, I'll leave it like this for now. Just to not complicate stuff. Okay, mm, I think that's it. Uh, that's the example streaming app in Rust. Uh, all right. We have payload, we have this, 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 and that's it. Uh, FMT, FMT, build run one more time to see that everything is working. I built, run the producer. In the project, there is also the uh, long, ter long term producer. Uh, this is just to quickly develop stuff. Uh, uh -huh. Now we have stuff here. Martin two, three, three, which is correct. And the output was this, and we have formatted code. Add more print statements. Git push. Okay. Now we have that, uh, and that's it. Uh, I think I'm gonna finish for today. It took way longer than I expected, but okay. Uh, Memgraph, we push stuff here. We have a pull request. Uh, Git ignore is okay, cargo walk is okay. This is fine. We added the RSM decline in CSV. 
uh, cargo build, Kafka memgraph, debug Rust, that's still true. Kafka producer, yep, this is fine here. Execute query, store memgraph. We have other complex stuff for the RD Kafka and async async stuff. We updated the updated the trigger. We decoupled this. We add that. I'm pretty happy with this. All right, uh, let's go here. Duck is now happy as well. Uh, even though it took way longer than I expected, I am really happy with with the whole thing. I learned a little bit of Rust as well. These lifetimes are tricky when you have, a, let's say, a for loop or any type of block. It's tricky to define the lifetime of these objects because lifetime of, of them is limited to the block. I, I'm not sure how to actually solve that in general. I mean, obviously the solution is easy to make a copy of an object and then return that object, but not so great. Mm. And yeah, I also should create a documentation update for the count and... Yeah, for the count function, it's not that obvious. Uh, and that's it. Uh, have a great rest of the weekend. As always, like, share, subscribe. Mm, my plan is to create uh, shorter videos. This today, I actually had a lot of people watching me, like forty, which is amazing. Mm, but still, it's very, it's way too long, and. Uh, yeah, I'll try to record uh, smaller smaller videos explaining uh, specific stuff. For example, this one with uh, Rust lifetime. I really don't know how to uh, solve that at this point, but but we'll figure out and then record something. Uh, and yeah, uh, next time I'll probably continue with the streaming stuff uh, because soon we're gonna release a new version of Memgraph, which will have more things included, and then these examples could be. Uh, much better, will be much better. Yeah, have a good rest of the week, and yeah, see you next time. Bye bye.